Hello guys, my name is Lawrence Philip, and today I'm gonna give you guys a quick tips on how to split out your drum rack into separate tracks. This is actually one of those features that's not that hard to set up, but it's not that obvious to begin with. Basically, based on my own personal experience, there was a time when I was using Ableton early on, where like when I was arranging a song for a client, and then the client was asking for a the stem for mixing, and then I just give them like one a stereo mix of drums, and my client will be complaining because they'll be like, "Hey man, I need the separate track." And at the time, I have no clue how to do that, how to split up my drum rack into separate audio track for each track. So usually I just give a really, really stupid answer, like something like, hey man, I already mixed the drum, so don't mess with my drum because it already sounds good. But yeah, that's not going to fly with client because client will be like, uh, no, we still need the separate track. So back then, since I don't know how to do this, so what I had to do was I ended up kind of like soloing each track and then export them one by one. But there's actually a pretty easy way and it's actually not that hard to set up so I'm just gonna show it to you. So let's just start. In this track one, I have a track with a drum rack. Right now it's using 707 Classic. So basically it's just your standard 4-4 beat. When you look at the drum rack and then you click, there is this triangle right here on the right side. You click that, it will open and it give you all this separate track for each of this panel right here and that will be represented in here so it's a kick it will be kick right here a rim will be like right here we can actually already process all of these separately and that's what i used to do you know i process all of this i put a compressor i put the eq and all the shebang that i need to make the drum sounds good and then i give it to my client as one stereo mix because right now when i bounce this it will just bounce as a stereo mix with just this one track as track one it's not gonna give you the kick or the rim the snare the clap all of them individually but it's just gonna give you one stereo mix of this it's quite simple how to separate them what we have to do is let's open this because i need to see how many track we're actually using right now one. so right now as you can see there is about seven track that we have running so what we got to do is we just need to create like seven audio track and then this is where things get pretty interesting because this is what we can do here if you go like to audio and then you see this window audio from you click that and there should be a drop down and then it should show the kit 707 classic so we select that and then right underneath it there is a post mixer right here so you click that and then right here it will give you all its different track on three different modes, the pre-fx, the post-fx, and the post-mixer. So basically this is up to you guys which one you want to choose. But with me, I like to go with the pre-fx. So that way, that's basically the signal is just kind of like passing through to this one and it's not being processed whatsoever. So anything like let's say i have the volume in here it's not going to be affected this is what i normally do when i've done that so we need to make sure that we put the monitor in so we can hear the audio being passed through that track and then another thing that i would do is i would mute this so it's not double so when we do this let's play it so now we have that audio in here so now we can just do it for like the rest And then don't forget to mute all these tracks that we're in here because we don't want that to double. So it'll be, it'll sound louder. Let's mute this. And then let's rename all of these. So once we have it like this, so we can just process everything that we need. And after that, if we want to group it again later on, we can just either select all of these 
and then we can just group it. We can just group it like this. Or what I prefer to do is I usually just set up an audio track and then I send all this audio to in here. It says audio to. I will send all of these to that new track that I set up. Like, let's rename this uh, Trumpus. So now we can put individual effects on each one of these and then when we export them, it will be on its individual tracks. So it's pretty easy. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you guys have any question about this, uh, just fire it up in the comment down below. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because I'm updating this channel regularly. And thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.